Overnight, new outrage over the death of Elijah McClain. It's about systemic racism. Elijah McClain wasn't the first one, and he's not going to probably be the only one. Protesters in Aurora, Colorado, once again taking to the streets after police released these photos taken by their own officers in October, mocking McClain's death. We are ashamed, we're sickened, and we're angry. While the allegations uh, of this internal affairs case are not criminal, it is a crime against humanity and decency. The city's interim police chief announced these two cops would be fired for conduct unbecoming an officer. A third would have been fired but resigned first. A fourth was also let go after getting the photos in a group text and responding, ha ha. That fourth officer, Jason Rosenblatt, had also been involved in the initial encounter with McLean. For these protesters, the photos added insult to injury. The police chief said the officers claimed they were reenacting the neck hold to cheer up a colleague. McLean was a 23-year-old massage therapist. His family says he sometimes wore a ski mask to keep warm because he was anemic. Stop. I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. Last August, he was walking home when Aurora officers stopped him, then tackled him, applied a carotid hold, and later a sedative. McLean died at the hospital days later. The coroner said the cause of death was undetermined. An internal police investigation found the officers followed policies, and the district attorney declined to file charges. But last week, the governor appointed a special prosecutor to investigate. Now, more anger fueled by these newly released pictures. The Aurora Police Department has a long, sordid, horrible history of both racism and brutality. That needs to stop today.